looks like we're probably live, but let's make sure here. All right, we're live, and I'm doing a sound check really quickly. All right, we're live, doing a sound check. All right. Cool. <clears throat> so, uh, this is, I don't know how long this stream is going to be. Uh, we're going to be looking at all the interesting Pokemon cards uh, that I have. I am mostly willing to sell pretty much any of them, uh, but eh, whatever. Don't need to go too much deeper into it than that. We're going to be looking at the, each uh, group of cards based on color. We're going to go pretty quickly. If you were here for my previous stream, uh, we went very, very slowly last time we looked at Pokemon cards. I'm trying to go quickly. If you are in chat uh, and you want to see something uh, closer, let me know. If you watch this on YouTube later and you want to see something closer comment like subscribe hey i always forget to say that i'm not forgetting today comment like subscribe um we also uh have a main youtube channel uh it's right there so even if you are on the uh <laughs> if you're on the the live vods channel um, we should be good there. All right, let's see here. <laughs> let's see here. Um. Oops, I put spaces in there. <laughs> gonna put that into the video description if anybody understands how live streaming on YouTube works uh, hit me up because I don't understand it at all all right not gonna worry about YouTube anymore tonight hi there Corey how's it going you're not crying are you I don't recognize that face but hi, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to, boom, that will give us a little explanation of what we're looking at. Of course the formatting is weird, but um, we're going to be looking at all the interesting cards that I have. So holographic, star rarity, uh, dark Pokemon, team rocket, gym leader Pokemon. Um, or just designs that I find really, really cool. But it's not going to be like last time, we're not going to go through and analyze any of the cards we're just going to kind of rapid fire get through them and um from that point on we will uh i, I don't I, from that point on i don't even know what i'm talking about because um that's that's the end of it <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna look at all these cards uh oh here's one that's pretty cool um my favorite pokemon lebron james uh that this is a uh card from when he wasn't even in the league yet uh this is a pre like i guess it's a rookie card but it came in a package with a hot wheels hummer um that was like calves colors and design so yeah that's just <laughs> the one sports card that i have but all right so in this pokemon stream the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at all my digimon cards i don't have very many of them and i want to get them out of the way from at the very top oh uh, <laughs> I'm well, how are you? <laughs> uh, I got, I don't know if you saw earlier, but I got new basketball shoes. They are so cool. Um, this one's hollow. And we went out and played some basketball today. So that was super fun. 
I mean, I got completely destroyed by some some strangers that we ended up playing four on four with, but um, yeah, I put it on Instagram. I um, <laughs> so I started uh, out super confident, like way too confident, because like I go for runs. And I run, like, you know, a great uh, distance without having to worry about it. I feel like I have endurance. The moment I start sprinting up and down a court, I was done for. Also, when the guy said, we're playing full court, I was like, are you sure? <laughs> we sure we want to do that? <laughs> but yeah, so we're just kind of cruising through, looking at these Digimon cards. I don't know anything at all about Digimon cards. I didn't really like the card game, so I never really mess with them. Oh. But yeah, I've kind of got just like kind of the base starter pack. But yeah, I found them, so I figured why not? Why not throw them on, on the channel? Here we've got a cr very creepy one that looks like it's like five Digimon put together which uh gross Digimon designs are super weird that one's pretty cool that one's hollow sweet looking Heracross beetle, Her Heracles beetle. Uh, of course, Heracross is a Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, I am excited just to get to the Pokemon, but because I got some really cool ones, I went through and I pulled out all of those. I was gonna do face cam on this, and it just just got so complicated. That one's adorable. I love blow pumpkin head with the axe in it. And that's the last one. So, um, yeah, those are the Digimon cards. If there was any that you found interesting that you want to see at any point, uh, just let me know. All right. Uh, okay, before we get into actual Mons again, we're going... Just getting the boring stuff out of the way. I've got, you know, all of these uh, trainer cards. We looked at a lot of them last time. Some of these, I just think they're interesting. Some of them are hollow, like this one, for whatever reason. Uh, this one, super shiny. But some of them are actually star rarity, very interesting uh, cards. Oh yeah, were there newer Digimon? Like I said, it was from the original like starter pack. So they were probably all just OGs. I didn't even know that Digimon made new Digimon. I thought that they made the, the characters that were in it, and then that was what it was. But yeah, there's there's a star rarity Clefairy doll. Ooh, holographic energy with Ampharos in the back. We looked at that last time, but I, I like it a lot. We got the holographic Q, holographic Sharon's. Hollow level ball. Skyla, just because I like her. We we had a lot of fun talking about the Pokemon War and Lieutenant Surge last time. There's another one. Here's OG holographic Sabrina trainer in Japanese. Really, really good stuff. We got Misty. We got Imposter Oak. There he is again. Also, this is my Gengar figurine that I mentioned before. Very good. I don't know. You can come back down here. I've got this card up here just reminding me where the, the edge of the camera is. Got a couple of those. There's no rarity on these cards. These Japanese Sabrina cards. 
but I just uh, picked up some of my my favorite ones. We got some hollow stadiums. There's another hollow stadium. Uh, we looked at this cool weird energy last time. Yeah, it's totally translucent. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Computer search is a star rarity, which cool. I've got three of them. <laughs> Lass is also, I mean, item finder is, but also Lass, I've got two of her. Also a star rarity. And then these ones, I think we looked at them last time. I just think they're cool. None of them are star rarity, but I think it's, it's kind of neat. All right. And then Professor Birch, not not super interesting but all right now i've gotten through all of the boring non-pokemon stuff so we're gonna start going just by color here um uh let's go open that up real quick all right so I'm going to go, I think, with the shortest colors first. And I keep saying colors and not type because type is kind of ambiguous and random in uh, the printing of these cards. Also, how's the music? Is it too quiet, too loud? Um, I don't want it to be obtrusive. I just want it to be... Um there yeah. all right music's good audible but non-intrusive awesome all right so yeah um we're gonna go with the shortest stacks first and then work up to the the huge ones you know you can probably guess that the biggest ones are gonna be normal type you know whatever <laughs> colorless blue green purple so but first we got our shortest deck we got black so black is darkness type in japan they call it evil type it's very funny um but yeah you can see there's a little bit of damage on this one but it is holographic and uh it's in japanese boom so yeah, we're gonna just kinda, like I said, if you wanna see anything uh, longer, let me know and we will uh, take a closer look. So this was one of the first dark cards that they made and even though it's a Sneasel, it's a star rarity. So it's like a, just a little baby weakling, but it's a star rarity and it's pretty cool. Darkrai, level X. This is the one that you play onto a regular dark eye so that's pretty pretty interesting stuff i don't know i don't know what i'm doing here with the, with the layout of the <laughs> the cards that we've already looked at but zatu my guy rips uh this is an uncommon umbreon but i just love umbreon there's another uncommon umbreon with the moon in the background i love it there's a star rarity. Here we've got another star, Umbreon. Again, this is one of those very early dark types that is a star rarity Murkrow. Again, Japanese. Um, here we've got a couple Houndooms that are stars Th so this one is a circle rarity but like i have two of this houndoom and i only have one of this elite four houndoom and i think it's super cool this fella is hollow and a star rarity i like him we got two shift trees mm -hmm. hollow poochie We got a Honch Crow, Star Absol. There's a lot of different Absols. It's a very popular Pokemon for the card game. Um, by that I mean the printers of the card. I don't know anything about what 
like players use or collectors are into but here are three of the same weavile <laughs> here are two of the same purloin that are hollow so <laughs> they're circle rarity but meh oh well and she evolves into a lipard here we've got a scrafty and two of the same card that are hollow sick oh and then the rest of them are no not the rest of them okay then we've got a mandy buzz which is hollow as well and then the rest of them are zorark so we've got two of this one that are not hollow and we've got two of this one that are hollow and that's that's a good holographic i like that a lot and then this is like some cheapo hollow, but there he is. And then this one, yeah, see how I glitter. I like it. So yeah, there's all of the dark types. I'm gonna keep this Houndoom on top because it's very cool. I really like that one. Um, okay, our next smallest one is of course going to be our steel type so we're, we are leading off again with an absolute banger scissor it is i think that this is a you know og gen 2 card you can see there's a little bit of damage on it but the uh the hollow is is some classic holographic texture and i like that a lot i'm gonna put him over here um, all right, so let's just dive in. We got a Durant and a lot of these. So again, that one's hollow, but not rare. We got two of the same Kling Klang. We got two of the same Bronzong. Uh, we've got a hollow version of this Probo Pass and a non-hollow. S Cavalier is a pretty cool Pokemon that is a pain in the butt to get, and I actually still need it in my shield game. So if anybody out there has one and wants to send it to me, oh, I would not, I would not complain about that. Oh, look at that, another one of those Bronzongs, but this one's hollow. So. Metagross, I'm a big fan. I think I've got it. I have one of the decks that we looked at last time that is uh, Metagross heavy. I think I have four of them in it. <laughs> Hollow Shield on. Hollow Bronzor. Oh, another one. Ooh. Yeah. It's not the classic Hollow, but that's good holographic. Metagross goes with Metatang. Matang, not Meta Tang. This one is kind of going for the OG style of holographic Agron. Another Agron. Oh, hey, look at these. Two more Agrons. <laughs> it's funny when you get the same card with two different holographic styles. I'm always interested in, in why they choose to print what they do and how they do it. So this one is not rare and it's not hollow. I just it was one of my first uh, steel type cards and so I uh, enjoy enjoy looking at it. Aron hollow. Here's two of this Skarmory. No big deal. This Skarmory on the other hand is very cool. I really like this Skarmory. And there's another Skarmory. And I think this is a first run of Skarmory. There's Steelix. Here we've got a very old Fortress. I'm not even sure. I don't even remember when I got this. But it is... It. Th I mean, this is obviously first run of Gen 2. Um... And then a silly little Nidoran that is hollow on just the Pokemon. Yeah. 
Yeah, it does. It's so weird. Yeah, the style on that one is strange. And then, oh, I love this holographic Raichu. It's so cute. <laughs> He's chilling so hard. I've, I'm pr almost positive that I don't have a single uh, Alolan Raichu, which makes me pretty sad. Because how I love an Alolan Raichu. Belongs in a magazine showing off Donkey Kong. Honestly, very much so. It would, it makes perfect sense to have that be a, uh, <laughs> a featured card. All right, it looks like our next one is going to be brown. Okay, it definitely is. Okay, so brown has a little fist on it. And so that implies fighting type. So we're going to see some fighting types. We're also going to see a lot of ground and rock types. We're also going to just see a lot of really weird stuff showing up in this stack. So let's start out with another old weird banger. Boom, Tyranitar. The flames are hollow in the background. It's wild and also obviously Japanese. So as I just, um, I'm going to put that one over because again, it's so cool. It is such a weird pose. It's all like hunkered, hun hunched over. Also, he has like leg fat rolls. I don't know if you can tell, but like... His legs just look chubby. It's a weird card, and I'm glad I have it. So, I mentioned how we're going to see some weird ones that probably feel like they shouldn't be in the brown category. Cloister. Oh, how I love a cloister. You think we're done? Uh-uh. Horsey. <laughs> it's only in here because I think it's weird. Alright, now let's get into some stuff that makes slightly more sense. We've got a hollow gullet. We got a hollow sock. We've got, and that one's uh, diamond rarity. This one's star rarity. So that one's, you know, slightly different. Here we've got throw. Excadrill. The hero of my... Uh, Shield speedrun. Gigalith. We got that one hollow. We got this one that's not. And we got this one that's not. All different. That's pretty cool. Uh, here's a hollow Hippodon. And we got Boldor. I love just going for it and saying Pokemon names. Uh, because I could be saying them just completely wrong, because I'm dumb. There's another different Bulldor. That's different, right? Yeah. Oh, here's some uh, fan favorites. We got one Lucario. Two. That's hollow. And that's a different style of hollow. And that's a different style of hollow. And then these two are repeats of the first type of hollow. <laughs> Five of that same one. Synthwave Lucar Lucario. Yeah. Isn't that cool? <laughs> He's uh, got that tape deck, like, <laughs> grain. Here we've got Clay Doll. And, of course, we got more Clay Dolls. Oh, okay. I almost hesitate to put this one on the internet. This one, this one, it feels like it's gonna do something to some people. So, uh, anyway, Twitch don't ban me if uh, people get too excited by the, the look of this card. <laughs> he's, he's stepping on you. He's putting his foot right on the camera. Oh my gosh. Anyway. <laughs> the soul rock has a a throwback uh hollow in the background of that one uh i have a lunatone but it's neither star nor hollow so pff, get out of here boy 
Swampert, heck yes. <laughs> yeah, the early three thousand. Oh, the early aughts 3D sells it. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm actually not positive. Is this French? Sur le Pokemon de Bas. Yeah, that this must be French. And it's weird because you can like see through the the character model. It's weird. I like it. Speaking of weird art styles, again, prominent foot. Oh man, here's that Glysaur that we never or Gligar that we never found in uh Rocket or er, <laughs> Radical Red, or well, we found it. It just ran away from us. Can I? Thank you. So here is one of the several that are going to be showing up. That is only here because I like the little clay models. One day we'll get a Gligar. You're correct. We will eventually. But yeah, I like the little clay models on the uh, artwork. I think they're very cute. So here's two different types of hollow on this Kabu Tops. And then we've got some of the original runs. Shuckle. Do love do love me a shuckle. Aerodactyl. Pretty old. There's another one of the little clay models that is very cute. Here's our Lucario. And then here is Japanese version of him. Very cute. Here we have OG Run Rhydon. Oh. Okay, I'm not. This one is very old. I've had this one for so long. <laughs> And you can tell how long I've had it by just, like, the surface wear. But that was one of my favorite cards when I was little. Brock's Rhyhorn. Nothing else about it. Hey, there's Hitmonlee. We had Hitmonchan. Here we've got a Star Rarity Marowak. Brock's Onyx. I don't know what this card is, but I just I like the artwork enough that I put it on in the in there. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, and here is one of those ones that goes in that one series. I might actually give them their own stack, but that series of cards where like all the cards are interconnected and you can look for connections. Maybe I'll put that off to the side and save all of the ones that we see from that series and see if what what I can put together. Here's another Onyx, it's hollow. 46 pounds? Did it? No, 463 pounds. Good good looking out, but no, 463. <laughs> this one's only 44. Brock's Geo dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, so on this card there's not, but on this card there is, and it's 463.0 pounds. And this one says 210 kilograms. So, yeah, all is right. All is right with the world. Uh-oh, here's another absolute classic. I think we saw some other ones in one of my decks. I can't, because I'm pretty sure I have, like, five of these. <laughs> Uh, here's a Dark Machoke. Again, this is just a Team Rocket card that I found cool. There's a Team Rocket's Machop. Here we got more Machokes that are hollow. You'll notice that there is... There's a vague shape of uh, organization here. Basically, for the most part, going from the highest Pokedex numbers to the lowest. But, they're mostly random. Here's Giovanni's Machop. And... 
I this is one of those palm tree cards so I'm gonna put it over here the artwork on this one is very creepy and I like it a lot it's team rockets prime ape it's in Japanese super cool oh yeah here's some of that 3d CG <laughs> And we got another one of those. And then the complete opposite of that. A couple of these in t like hand drawn 2D like coloring book looking Doug Drios. There's so many white weird Doug Drios. Okay, so this one is Team Rocket. And this Diglet is also Team Rocket. This one is no lines. I like this style of card where there's no outlines on anything. Brock Sand True. Brock's other Sand True. Looking wistfully out. And Hollow Sand True. And that is all of our browns. So I'm just going to put the browns up here. I'm liking having these like super like weird cool ones up here. Alright. I'm pretty sure that next is red. Let's dive into it. Sandikin Skywalker. Honestly, yes. All right. Again, every time we start a new color, I'm going to open up with the best one. And what what you know about that? What you know about that holographic Charizard from Blaine? Now, considerable amount of damage on this one. Um, that's why it's the only one that I have in a case. Um, because I'm nervous about it taking any more damage. But... I love this card. Again, I've had this card <laughs> for 20 years. Oh my gosh. I'm so old. Okay. Hey, and that's that's where he came from. We got a whole bunch, actually, of um, legendaries out here. So that's a one kind of hollow, different kind of hollow, no kind of hollow. Oh, and if we like that Reshiram, what do you think about this one? That one is very cool. Oh, this is one of my babies. I love a Volcarona. Yeah, it's a really clean design. And these Chandelures, well, these two have the same hollow on them. And this one doesn't have any. Ooh. And then Lampent is also hollow. Here we're hitting Darmanitan, which is a diamond rarity, but it's holographic. Darumaka, another hollow. Semiseer. It looks like these two have the same hollow on them. And these three have no hollow. <laughs> Here we've got some more hollow Daramakos. This I'm gonna put this one out to the side as well. Infernape X, level X. It comes after. Here's a couple of hollow regular Infernapes. And a non-hollow Infernape. We got mad stuff. Oh yeah, let's tweet. Let's tweet and let, let people know we're live. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just put that one right next to it. Here we've got some a Victini. Yeah, well, the thing about Charizard's eyes is that he can never really focus on anything, right? Isn't that part of like his character? <laughs> his personality is that he doesn't focus very well. <laughs> when he opens his mouth wide, his eyes by default have to look up. <laughs> Here we got... Okay, so this one is just a weird card. Ooh, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. The fire the f <laughs> the fire's going up in the air in the original artwork. 
Are you are you wanting this uh, fire type Ralts? I'm telling you, color is not really tied to type. <laughs> I actually have. I, I'm pretty sure that we looked at a deck the last time. If we didn't, then I've got one that we didn't see that's hiding around someplace that is all based around Fire Gardevoir. Yeah, it's very cute. Here's another hero, Blaziken. And another one. Now, I'm not sure where I got this one. I'm not sure what this was a promo from. Maybe it was a, like a store promo, but this is this is a unique card. I don't have any other cards that have this weird yellow outline. Like, I mean, obviously they, most of them have yellow outlines, but like this outline, and then this weird shape on the picture, and it says promo down here. I don't know what that's about, but uh, here's another ho. -Oh. Yeah, e-reader. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks... <laughs> yep. I mean, I think they might be going for Pokedex, but yeah. <laughs> Which is basically an e-reader, right? <laughs> it's basically an Amazon Kindle. This is one, I, I think, one of the earliest cards. This one also has the promo star on it. Um... But I think this is one of the earliest cards that I have that had the background holographic. And it's got the classic holo dots. Alright, let's look at this one. Okay. It's a fire type basic Pokemon card. It's one of the Wizards Black Star promos. Where did we get it from? Wait, what's it say? Oh, it's written with a, a lowercase o instead of an uppercase o. That's pretty interesting. Uh, this was prior to Generation 3 confirming Ho-Oh as the correct way to capitalize a Pokemon's name. Interesting. So this card was released as... So let's put it on top. This card was released as one of the Wizards Black Star promos, originally released as one of the Japanese P promotional cards. In Japan, it was available at as an insert with the December 01 issue of Koro Koro comic, released on November 15th, 01. The English version was first available at Pokemon Center New York in November 02. This version has a Pokemon Center New York stamp underneath the illustration. Does it? Another version lacking the stamp, oh, was available as an insert with the November 02 issue of Nintendo Power Magazine. Okay, so it must have... Okay, there's no stamp, which means that it must have come from a Nintendo Power, but I did not get Nintendo Power, so I must have traded for it at some point. Good luck. Alright, uh, there's just a cute little slugma that I liked. Matt Cargo. Classic Moltres. Non-holographic version. Flareon. Okay, and here it is. This is my very first holographic card. Fire Hoops minigame on GBA, but it also needs Rapidash. The world of e-reader cards is so alien. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this, this right here is my very first holographic card that I ever got. And I think I've told the story on stream before, but I got it from that first run booster pack that had Flareon on the package. So when I opened that pack and got a Flareon on the inside, my stupid dumb kid brain went... Oh, I guess that you always get whatever's on the outside of the pack. Anyway, that's the card. This is the one. This is my, this is my very first booster card, booster pack I ever opened. So, uh, kind of sentimental. I was in Johnny Rockets 
Do we know Johnny Rockets out there in chat? That's where I was I was eating dinner and uh, that's where I opened the pack. Here's another cool Flareon, Team Rockets Dark One. And again, this is a circle rarity, but it belongs to Elite Four, so I like it. Okay, and there we've got that one, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> <laughs> when I got four more of the same card that weren't holographic, I was like, oh, okay. Things are a little bit different than I had previously thought. <laughs> uh, here's some more Moltres. They're both the same hollow. And here is Blaine's Magmar in Japanese. I like that one. Uh, we're not done looking at super weird typings. Boom, we got our Seedra, and now is a fine time to bring out another one of my favorite all-time cards, my Fire and Steel type Kingdra. So, yeah. <laughs> that one's really good. I'm keeping that one forever. Here's a Hollow Rapidash. You've never seen a Johnny Rockets, but it looks fun. Yeah, they have um, little... Uh, at every single table, little nickel juke jukeboxes with hundreds of songs. And everybody in the place can put as many songs on the queue as they want. It's, it's pretty great. Here's another holographic Rapidash. That is, again, Elite Four. And a Team Rocket Dark Rapidash. I like that one a lot. Here is Blaine's Ponyta. And I don't know what this one is. I just like the artwork. Oh, I guess it's Team Rocket. I didn't even look at that before. So we've got a Team Rocket Ponyta. And I enjoy that. Here's some Arcanines. That one's got a hollow background. And that one's got 130 HP. I think that's the highest one that I've got. That one's cute. These ones are cute. I like the dogs. Uh, here's another, here's two very old Ninetales cards. And then a very new Ninetales card. Well, new, relatively new. There's Brock's Vulpix. There's a Vulpix with cool art. There's Blaine's Vulpix. This one is a star rarity. Arbok, that is fire type. And, of course, we saved all the other Charizards for last. We've got this Charizard. We've got this uh, Team Galactic Charizard that's got bad CGI. And we've got two Team Rocket Dark Charizards as well. So there we go on all our reds. Let's keep it moving i'm gonna definitely move these stacks at some point but right now let's just keep rocking in the free world oh no i missed i didn't pick these two up we got a dark charizard or <clears throat> a dark charmeleon and a blaine's charmander so all right it's pretty clear that our next biggest or our next smallest stack is yellow. Yellow is pretty much universally electric type, but we've got ourselves Lieutenant Surges. This one's pretty damaged. You can you can definitely see how damaged it is. I, I got this one in a trade, but I thought the artwork was so incredibly cool that I really wanted it. Um Fossils, Aptos, Aptos, okay, here's that one with that kind of hollow, there's that one with a different kind of hollow, we got this fella, that's that hollow, same one, so that's a bunch of Zapdos, oh yeah, let's definitely put him out to the side because that's, that's certainly the coolest card that I think is in this stack, in this stack, so I love weird typing, Boom. Kabuto. Electric type. <laughs> we got Pichu. That is a star rarity. 
We got holographic Mareep. Adorable holographic Ampharos. Hollow Flaffy. Star Rarity Elekids all over the place. This Elekid is... I don't know... I'm not sure exactly what this stars means either. I'm sure that... Uh, <laughs> probably Corey in chat who is uh, really good at looking that stuff up can uh, tell me. <laughs> but... Yeah, that one's just a holographic Larvitar. Here we've got a short-legged Manectric. Oh, here's another Manectric with very short legs. All of their legs should be a lot longer. We got... Actually, this Plusle is also a Star Rarity. Also, I'm noticing that this Plusle... Mm, maybe not. Okay. It looked like it had more rounded corners than the other cards. But when I lined them up better, I guess it didn't. It's just something about the shape that looks weird. We got Hollow Shinx. Oh, another Hollow Shinx. We got some Hollow Lur Luxios. And then, non Hollow Luxray. Hollow Luxray. And another one. This one is hollow and star rarity. Here we've got cool holographic Electivire. Pachirisu is also star rarity. I don't know why they give all of these electric mouse and electric rodents star rarities for no reason. We got some holographic Zebstrikas. And we got some non-holographic ones. Actually, we got a bunch. There's Emolga. Ooh, and Electros. There's Zekrom. That's a pretty strong card. I like him. And then I just threw in this Raichu because I think it's cute. And this is clearly the... Mm, Two of these are noticeably older than the other. So we've got that Raichu, that one, and that one. And then we've got two of this one. And the holographic. It looks like the same style of holographic, but it prints it a little bit differently. This one you can see like patterns in the holographic. I don't know if that's intentional or what, but... And then this holographic Raichu is holding balloons, and he's very happy, and that makes me happy. So we got a Magnemite there. And then, this is another one of the uh, Team Rocket lineless art style, and I like it a lot. I think that one's a super cool design. We got Lieutenant Surge. We got a different Lieutenant Surge. And you know I'm a Magneton collector, I've got a ton of Magnetons. I'm not even going to show you all of them because some of them are just not are are not rare and they're not Team Rocket. And they're not cool looking. They just exist. But yeah, this one's hollow. And then I got a bunch of that card that are not hollow. And this one's cool. So this one is from the Legend Maker series. And I just I really like the holographic. I like the design. I like the leaves. I think this is a cool card. And a classic one. And a different classic one. That symbol with a little two on the Pokeball. I'm not 100% sure on him. And I also have an extensive collection of Electrodes again. We're not looking at the Diamond Rarity ones. But this one's hollow. Uh, and we're going to... Okay, I'm just going to pull this one... No, I like him. He's pretty neat looking. I think I have him. Yeah, I definitely have him in a in a deck. And now here is a star rarity Electabuzz. And then here's another super cool promo card from the first movie. You can WB presents Pokemon the first movie. So that one is pretty cool. I've had that one since. <laughs> the first movie came out. What was that? 99? 2000? Surge's Electabuzz. T 
teeth brushing Electabuzz? That's not something that I have. What? Please, please send that link. <laughs> so Lieutenant Surge's Electabuzz is cool. And then this one is also cool. This is the Unseen Forces one. And I just, I really like the power plants in the background. I like the holographic style of this one. You kind of can't tell on the camera, but there's like a green mixed in with all of the, the blue and yellow. The electrode just, a, oh, oh, gotcha, yes. Pokemon Smile, gotcha. <laughs> Pokemon Smile designs are so stupid cute. We got a bunch of Jolteons. We got a dark one with Team Rocket. We've got a classic original Jolteon. This one is hollow. These two are not. These two are a different card that are both hollow. This one looks like that. <laughs> and that one's not holographic. Okay, so these ones are different. They have the promo star, but the promo star is down in the rarity location instead of under the artwork. So that's interesting. And that one is also the same holographic. This one was also a promo from the first movie. That was pretty cool. And... This one has the two white stars again, but it's again a not lineless art style, but definitely different. So, I like that one. Lieutenant Surges, he looks like he's in, like, he's like a giant in fields of wheat. But one of the cool things is, okay, let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, do you see how the, the hair on his ear is like ruffled? That one's pretty cool. A different Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu. Again, the sunsets. For whatever reason, I'm really drawn to ones with suns and moons in the background. Oh yeah. <laughs> and there's a sun in the background of this one too. So, And that's all of the yellows. Um, Let's... Let's keep it going. I like having these cool weird ones up top. I know I'm going to move them eventually, but Okay. We're getting we're moving. I am doing a pretty solid job of keeping keeping the content rolling. Um I'm definitely going to end the stream as soon as we get through all of them, but yeah. Okay. Let's see. We've got purple is smaller than green. But I got to rearrange some stuff. Let's see. Here's some blues. That's about exactly the same as the green stack. And white. Let's see. Okay, we're going to go purple, white, blue, green. And then that's going to be the end. Okay. I think I think this one also this one was this is also um Italian or <laughs> I think it's French. I'm pretty sure this one we we established was was French. Um I mean when it comes to like individual weird ones, I think that Brown had a lot of the coolest weird ones. <laughs> but as far as like just across the board, the purple cards, you've got Ghost, Psychic, Poison are the main big ones. But let's keep track and see what other weird kinds we get. So, uh, again, just mad bangers out here. Here we've got Sabrina's Alakazam. Oh, ooh, it's so cool. Big fan of Sabrina's Alakazam. You can see the, the damage on the card. Unfortunately, that damage is all me. 
I got this pack. So I, I, I know for sure that I purchased that. This is one that I certainly traded for. Team Rockets Mewtwo. Can you... Ooh. Again, damage all over, but cool card. We looked at this one last time. Love it. Giant moon in the background. Makes me happy. I know that we've looked at a lot of these, but here's Slow King. Hollow. Here's a Team Rocket Slow Bro. And you can see the Team Rocket guy in the background. That's really cool. I, I like... I like it when there's like a scene. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? Whatever. There he is. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> bad 3D CGI on Golbat here. We already talked about how Mewtwo EX is broken, but here's my two different Mewtwo EXs. R ruined the ruin the card game. Here we've got a grow vial that is hollow. And a Celebi. Here we've got another slow king with a lighthouse in the background. And a moon. A little bit of moon. And here's a palm tree slow king. So he gets to go over here. Here we've got a lovely Espeon. And this Espeon kind of looks like a like a bug, like an insect. It's weird. Here's Zatu. We like Zatu here. And we've got Pro Mo Muse for days. So there's all that promo Mew. But if people don't know about this promo Mew, woo, we're missing out. Check that. Super weird. Big fan. Here's another palm tree. So that goes over there. And here are the classic Mewtwo's. I don't even know what the background is supposed to be. Is it a crosswalk? Is he on Abbey Road? I don't know, but we got two of these. Where he definitely looks more like he did in the original games on this card. Whereas like, he's a lot taller and leaner. This is, this is Melee Mewtwo. This is Pokemon Red Mewtwo. Like those are these are different dudes. These are not the same guy. Uh holographic Japanese mime. Execute. Which I don't it's not psychic type, but executor is, right? So it gets grandfathered in. Here we've got some classic hollow alakazams. Melee Mewtwo looks weird in his own way. For sure, for sure. Here's some more recent Nitto Queen and Nitto King. Team Rockets, Dark Kadabra. I love uh, all the Sabrina cards. I think that's such a cool Sabrina's Kadabra. I've got more of that one, but it's obviously not going to be a star, so... We got some dark Alakazams. And here's Sabrina Slowbro. We got a couple mucks. I just love the Sabrina cards. All the Sabrina cards are so cool. All right, let's see. <laughs> Pokemon Smile Mewtwo is too cute. <laughs> There's another Sabrina's Ghastly. Oh wait, there's another Sabrina's Ghastly. I just like him. Sabrina's Haunter. Weird Gengar. Very weird Gengar. I love a very creepy Team Rocket Drowsy. 
We got Sabrina's Drowsy. Classic Mime. Classic Mime. Classic Mime. Sabrina's Mime. Oh, Sabrina's Other Mime. <laughs> Sabrina's Jinx. And it's... So, I, I brought this one for comparison. We've got the Japanese print, and we've got the English print. Hmm, interesting. And there's Sabrina's. There's another adorable Espeon. And my Japanese Smoochum. There's a Hollow Lampent. And a Scolipede. Darmanitan is hollow and cool. Lurky murky. And we got some hollow golets. And a hollow litwick. There's LGM. And Gothitelle. Oh, and we got some more of her. Oh boy, we got mad. Mad lollies. Here's a couple hollow Garbodors. Cofagregius. Hey, there's another one of him. So Woobat. Hollow Venipede. Hollow Masharna. Which is pretty cool. Non hollow. Toxicroak is a Pokemon that I like a lot. Here's our Ozelf. And the Devil, Giratina. That one's, this is the origin form. And this is the other one. And then here is a level X, Invisible Tentacles. There's Mana, Driftblim, another Driftblim. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, bunch of Driftblims. And then we get into some aliens. Here's a hollow Deoxys. There's a different Deoxys that is supposed to... You're supposed to have a bunch of Deoxys, but I, I never did until much later. And there's a beautiful moon in the background of this alien. And there's Drifloon. Net Duskull. A different Banette. That one's actually really cool. It looks like it's made with crayon. I like that. Ball Toy. Holland Phantoms. Deoxy Series Grumpig. Holographic. A Swallet, a Spoink, a Beautiful Gardevoir, oh, some others. I got, I actually got a bunch of these. Wait a second. Wait a second. I've got so many of that one. Gardevoir, Gardevoir. Here's uh, some Shedinges. Oh my gosh, okay. Holographic Ralts. And two dust docks. Well, I've ruined it. I built the stack is too high. Oh, there we go. Alright. What's the coolest one to put on top of the purple? <laughs> I think it's that Mewtwo. I think it's a super weird Mewtwo. <laughs> Alright, next we've got white. So really, the, the purple stack pretty much played it straight. The purple stack pretty much kept it to Psychic and Poison. We didn't get too weird. But, boom, starting off with a banger. Beautiful, Team Rocket, Dark, uh, sorry, Dark Dragonite, uh, I, 
I'm pretty sure I have an English one around here someplace, but... Lieutenant Surge's Firo. Pretty cool card. Yeah, Grovile was super weird, you're right. Ooh. Not weird typing, but weird art. I love it. I'm gonna put that one on. <laughs> yeah, I dig it too. Erica's Dragonair. I believe she purchased it at the game corner. So, this one is a Dark Dragonite. Take a look at Light Dragonite. Come on, give me a. Give me a focus, baby. Come on. Come on. There he is. Oh. Well, he was there for half a second. Anyway, weird card. Koga has a ditto for some reason. There's a Team Plasma Radicate. Of course, it's got a blue outline. I don't have very many blue outlines. And that might be the only one that we're looking at today. But. Haxorus. Afrotauros. Rufflet. We got two different kind oh no, same kind of holographic on Braviary. I got two of this Tornadus that uh, takes up the whole card. Sinchino, Minchino, <laughs> three holographics of that Pokemon. This is my only Unpheasant female version, so that's kind of cool. We got Audino. And some holographic tranquils. There's our hollow herdier. And Stoutland. And Lillipup. They're all they're all here. The whole <laughs> everyone's here. Togekiss, holographic. Togekiss, non-holographic. God. Happini. And this holographic Happini also has that cute uh, clay style. And Bipon is a star rarity. And we got Latias and Latios. We got a couple different kinds of holographic on this Delcaddy. And a Pokemon I could never respect because it slacks off. <laughs> Blissey, Luigi, Clay Giraffe Rig, Noctowl, Japanese Iggly Buff. There's some pretty significant damage on that one. Classic Togepi. This one is a palm tree. And other Togepi. Oh, we're. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> this many. This many more whites. Okay, we got Clay Togepi. We got the English Dark Dragonite. We've got this weird Dragonite. Oh, it's so shiny. It's like. <laughs> it's, def it's clearly a CGI 3D model, but he's very shiny. Okay, my stacks are getting a little bit janky here. There's a pretty old Dragonite. Oh, there's another one. There's a couple of Dark Dragonites. Ooh, this one is very old. You can feel the texture on the card how old this one is. So that's a first run Dragonair. And there's another one and another one. Uh, there's two of this one. Now this one is a diamond rarity, but it is so pretty and I 
did not remember this when I saw it earlier. But I'm a huge fan of this card. I think that's so cool looking. More classics. Here's a Team Rocket Dark Dragonair. We've got Erica's Dratini. And we've got a cute little Clay Dratini. Classic Snorlax. Classic Holographic Snorlax. Oh, classic non-holographic. There. She definitely bought that at the game corner as well. Yeah, we another one. I I guess I just like that it was in Japanese. I don't know why I put this one in here. Whatever. And we got a hollow ditto, and we got some non-hollow dittos. And then we got this other weird one that looks to be in a cave. We got Blaine's Tauros, which again is looking out at the sunset. A classic old school uh, Kangaskhan with hollow in the background. There's a different Kangaskhan. There's another classic, but not hollow. This is an intense Toro with a little maple leaf. I like I like this autumn Tauros. Classic Chansey. So that one's got a two, and this one doesn't. So I'm guessing that this must be a reprint, and this must be original. I don't know. Chansey. I just like that this one was Japanese. Here's Brock's Lickitung. He's he's going at it. And here's Palm Tree Lickitung. Palm Tree. Here's a one dodrio, two dodrios, and then we got two of this doduo and Blaine's doduo. Here we've got Farfetch'd and a cute little Persian that's holographic, and then uh, several that are not, but they're all star rarity. Giovanni's Meowth. This is a promo Meowth, and I'm not I'm not super sure where this one comes from either, but it's pretty cool. I mean it's clearly uh what's that what's that what's that city called? Oh my gosh. Whatever, in in black and white, right? So There, oh, this Dark Wiffly Tough is so tough. Look at him. But yeah, this is that lineless art style that I enjoy. And hey, here's a Jigglypuff with a palm tree. Ooh. Sakura Cliffable that belongs to Erica. This one's a pretty classic wiggly tough. Tough, tough, tough. And here's a classic Clefable doing her moon dance. And another one. And there's another wiggly tough. These are really just mixing up <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. Um, there's a, a hollow jigglypuff. And when I saw this one, I was very confused. I I remember this card. But I'm not sure why it's a star rarity. This one is a star, and it's hollow, and it's a first run card. So I am pretty... I'm kind of thrown off by that, because I did not remember them making holographic basics that evolved. Much less giving them a star rating. So I'm not sure. That one might actually be worth something. It was weird. Here's Erica's Clefairy. There's Surge's Spiro. Oh, and then there's another Surge's Spiro. There's a Dark Team Rocket Raticate. Surge's Raticate. Oh, and there's a different one of his Raticate. He's got an army of them. And this Raticate is a palm tree. We put it over here with the other palm trees. Ooh, this one is aggressive. 
a okay i love this palm tree um i've got another one of this card someplace but it's not here it is in a in a case someplace because when i traded for it when i was a kid so the english one that i have of this i traded for it and the person had it in a case and was like this has never been touched by human hands and i was like oh okay well that sounds like that really means something and so i never took it out and i kept it forever <laughs> there's a classic pidget and another one and another one and there's a surges ratata and now okay so and i made a comment earlier that i didn't know that they made pre-evolved Pokemon stars. Well, I didn't know that they made these Pidgeotto's star rarity. So I've got a few of those. And uh, Koga's is also a star. And this one is hollow. Finally, we got Kog Koga's Pidgey. It was pretty, just a regular old bird. But yeah, definitely, definitely a big fan of the Dark Dragonite. Ooh, we're down to only two stacks. And they're pretty much evenly matched. Do we want to see the blue cards first or the green cards first? In the meantime, while I wait for an answer, I'll show you this other one that I'm a huge fan of. This one is Steel and Grass type Flygon. I really like that card. So that one and Kingdra are super cool. We're gonna do blue, okay. Now nah, there's no reason for it to be green. Let's do blue. Oh no, dropped a bunch of cards. Okay, so this one is just here because it's discolored. This is one of a couple, I think I have another one in the blue stack that is just the color of the background just doesn't match any other cards. So that one's interesting. Uh, here's Team Rocket's Dark War Turtle. Oh, yeah. And this one is French Tortank. Big fan of Tortank. Very cute. Uh, first edition logo on that one i don't have any idea what any of that means um here's my japanese misty's tentacruel japanese suicune that one's just a squirtle i don't know why it's here here we have a meryl i think it's just cool and it's japanese this one is hollow we got a uh, palm tree Merrill, so we'll put palm tree Merrill over here with the other palm trees. We got old school uh, for alligator hollow. <laughs> Japanese croc -naw for some reason. This one's sweet. I don't remember where I got this one. This one's cool. Of course, I remember getting Articuno. That one's <laughs> classic. Oh, and then uh, that's another one of the promos. I definitely know that this promo card came from the second movie, Pokemon 2000. Uh, there's a classic Articuno, another one, another one. Here is a Dark Amistar. Oh, I love this Vaporeon too. It's super cool looking. And we got Mad Vaporeons. Vaporeon is another card that I collected a lot. I really like Vaporeon. Um, this one is not a rare Vaporeon, but it's a cute Vaporeon. And then here I've got some dark Vaporeons. They're cool. Oh, I had Dark, dark Amistar. Here's Dark Ammonite. Here we've got a uh, holographic Lapras. and Giovanni's Gyarados. That one's pretty classic. I've had that one a long time. There's just a different Gyarados. 
And here's a dark Gyarados. He's kind of derpy looking. He's got a derpy little face. And then I've got another one of those. And then I've got two of this Gyarados. And I'm going to try to get a good um, look at them. The hollow is not only different. It's like significantly darker on one of these. And I'm not sure why. But I've had both of them for a long time. Uh, there's another weird derpy Gyarados. And here's some lovely Lapras. There's one. There's another one. And that's a palm tree. Here we have a wicked misty Gyarados. And a Deoxys series Gyarados. That one's pretty cool too. Holographic Magikarp, Misty's Starmie, which, uh, <laughs> if I remember Radical Red, ooh, brutal. Misty Star U, a different Misty Star U, Hollow Star U, Misty's Goldeen, Misty's Goldeen, just a Japanese classic horsey. This one's weird big fan of the art style on it I like that Misty's horsey and palm tree tentacruel we got a regular hollow tentacool actually that one is one of the clay ones so I definitely liked it to begin with and I love Misty's tentacool because she's swimming with it, and holy smokes, is that thing big. Wait a second, that says 2 feet 11 inches. That's not 2 feet 11 inches. Unless the perspective is way off, like, it's a lot closer than her. Maybe that's the case. Maybe that's what it is. She's just further away from the view. Super classic holographic polyrath. Misty's Poliwhirl. We got a Golduck. We've got Sabrina's Golduck. Misty's Poliwag, which I love. Very cute. And here's Team Rocket's Dark Blastoise. And another one. And then here's two holographic original Blastoise. Oh, wait. Here's a holographic Dark Blastoise that has some very obvious damage on it. Carrying on to the other half, half of the blue stack, we've got two of the uh, palm tree war turtles. So we'll just put both of them over there for now. And I got a couple of the dark team rocket war turtles. And then we got some newer mons. We've got Vanillite, we've got Swana, we've got Mad Swanas actually. We've got a ducklet here that's hollow. What else? Some different size toads and a hollow palpy toad. Star rating semi pores. This one is also sitting in front of the city. A couple different samurots. That one and that one. I definitely like the hand-drawn one better than the 3d model one pan pour oh oh he's pan pouring you a drink oh he's so cute except his eyes are kind of creepy and vacant here's some glaceons there's a hand-drawn floatzel and here's a weird 3d floatzel Here's two different uh, artworks for Empoleon level X. Same card, but different artwork. Pretty neat. And then here's some regular Empoleons. We got that fella. We got that one. We've got that one and that one. Oh my gosh, wait, there's so many. And there's another one. Okay. Here's a hollow Piplup. 
We got Wall Rain, Hollow Sphiel, Hollow Feebas, Hollow Whiz Cash, Big Ol' Whale Lord, and a cooler Hollow Whale Lord. Here's Pelipper. That one's a cool Suicune that is borderline line lineless. It's not completely lineless, but holographic Kingdra. This Octillery's artwork is just so cool. So here's another light card. This one again has obvious damage, but this one is Light Pillow Swine. You can see the damage on it there. It's a pretty pretty neat card though. Kerami X, Keldeo EX, Bear Tick, Bear Tick, Bear Tick. <laughs> Wait, Cryogonal, no, get out of the way. We got more Bear Tick, we got more Bear Tick, we got more Bear Tick. Holy crap, how do I have so many Bear Ticks? <laughs> and there's Cub Chew with a super gross snot hanging out of his nose. I'm sure it's something that is explained in the in the book but whatever jellicent and here are two jellicent that look like they're about to go um wreck havoc on an ocean liner so um jellicent are antifa <laughs> alola mula we got Vanillix, and well, and another one, and uh, well, another one. And then finally we got Cryogonal. And that's all the blues! Oh my gosh, we're almost through all the cards. Green is the last stack. Exciting. Alright. And as usual, oh, ooh, oh, oh man, there's a lot of cool greens. All right, so that's super cute. They're dancing, they're looking up. There's obvious damage on this particular card, but super cool. A classic. Another classic. The opposite of what is a classic. <laughs> a very new Shaman EX card. By very new, I mean relative to the Venusaur we just looked at. That is very, very old. Mm, Bulbasaur. I, again, don't know why I put that one in here. I guess it's just cute. Cacturn. Cricketot. Cricketoon, Yan Mega, the Webble. Here's another Blossom, not nearly as cool as the one over on the side. This Leafeon is a lot of fun. We got two versions of this beautiful eye. one that's hollow, one that's not. Oh, there's another one of the Blossoms. Here we've got a hollow Ladybug. Oh. And that one has a palm tree. Area dose. Semi sage. Easily the best of the three monkeys. Whimsicott. Excelgore, which I definitely prefer over Escavalier. Um, also, I have one in Shield. I don't need one, I just need Escavalier and Carablast. Here's some of this Amoongus. And, oh, there's another one of the semi -shage. There's this form of Shaman. And, oh, hey! <laughs> there's, there's Shelmet. There's a Pan Sage, and, oh, hey, a new semi -shage. And then another one. <laughs> 
holographic silicon. I really like the art on this cherim, and that's why I included it. I just think it's really pretty. Saw's buck is a star. It's pretty cool. A snivy that's incredibly holographic. Wow. Servine. Ponsage. Another shaman. Wait, is this different still from the previous one? Well, whatever. Doesn't matter. I can I can look back at the video. All right. So there's that shaman. Another pan sage. Winsicott. Ooh, septile. Green breath. Ooh. When you attach a leaf energy card from your hand to Sceptile, remove two damage counters. Cray Dilly, this one's pretty cool. And there's a Leafeon. That's how many we got left. Yon Mega. Oh, this is a cool crayon drawing of Celebi. Pretty neat. Roserade is one of my favorites. Another Sceptile. Another Beautifly. Another. There's a Scizor. If Scizor has six or more damage counters on it, any damage done to Scizor by attacks is reduced by 40 after applying Weakness and Resistance. Wow. Little clay Trico that I like. Tropius is a cool Pokemon. I like that it's like got bananas hanging from its ears, like earrings. This one is weird and 3D modeled. Classic Celebi. Cool Elite Four Scizor. A Yanma. I don't know what this location is. Is that a Pokemon League in one of the games? Not positive. Here's Ninjask. I just like Lilligant. No real reason for it to be here, but I like it. Swadloon. Shellnet. Cricketune. Another. Okay, here's a weird type. We got Dratini in green. We got a couple different pincers. And some classic scythers that fully deserve their star rarities. And then this one is just wicked, but it's a circle rarity. I just thought it was cool looking. That scyther is also incredibly cool looking. It's only a diamond, but again, deserves Deserves star, I believe. And that one's kind of derpy. Oh, and this one's fast. And finally, we have a hollow version of the classic. Right? That's the same as that. Yeah. Tangela. There we go. This one is significantly lighter. You can't really tell on this camera right now. But this one is significantly lighter in the background. Actually, just all over. It's a weird misprint. Oh, yeah. Okay, I love this. Because there's Weezing. Dark Weezing. And then there... Is the same artwork. But it's it's in a smaller, a shorter box. So it's zoomed out more. That's pretty interesting. Koga's Coffings. There's the Deoxys Coffing. And here's a jet... Oh! I've got a Japanese Palm Tree Executor, and I've got an English Palm Tree Executor. We'll put them both over here. We got some classic mucks. We got two that are hollow, and one, two, three that are not. Keep po pointing out the uh, Pokemon that I had big collections of. Well, we've got classic Victory Bells. We've got a newer one. We've got Erica's Victory Bells. We got some more classics, just 
tons of victory bells. There's Koga's Grimer. There's that one, but this one's hollow, so it's better. We've got Parasect, that is a star. This one is in better shape than this one. And this one's not holographic. Eric is Paris. Ooh. Cool dark vile plume. This vile plume, because vile plume is normally like purple, but this one's black. I've always liked that card. And there's our palm tree vile plume. Gloom. Erica's gloom. Different Erica's gloom. A little oddish. And I like Erica's oddish. It makes me think of um, when we were just playing It Takes Two. Oh, shoot. I'm not going to be able to do It Takes Tuesday this week. Oh, well, we'll just make it up. We'll probably we'll just try to play on Wednesday, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, here's another Erica's Oddish. It looks like there's, like, an oil well fire in the background. I don't know if you can... Maybe it's just a volcano. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. But in my mind, it's some environmental catastrophe that we have wrought upon ourselves. There's Giovanni's Nidoran. <laughs> and Koga's Zubat. There's Brock's Zubat. Boy, they, everybody be collecting Zubats. <laughs> Classic Nitto King. Giovanni's Nitto Queen. Classic Nitto Queen. And then we got some that are holographic, actually. We got three. This one is in terrible shape. You can see a lot of it is all, all messed up. If everybody had a Zubat across the USA. I don't know. I'm being stupid. Here's a Dark Arbok. Dark Carbok. Dark Carbok. Anyway. Uh, that is Team Galactus. Galactic's Beedrill. And this is uh, one of the Beedrills that I have in that one uh, World Series deck. Here's a different Beedrill that's pretty cool. It's looking at some cactuses. <laughs> They're like Rattatas or Water Buffaloes. <laughs> Beedrill. 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 There's Butterfree. And it is Palm Tree. A classic Venusaur. And another classic Venusaur. And a much less classic Venusaur. And a kind of cool one. And then Erica's Ivysaur. And that is all my rare and otherwise interesting cards so um i'm gonna send this to a friend who is uh who knows about like collecting cards so shout out to him and in the meantime let's uh let's move all of these cards out of the way and see which cards we can connect to each other in the palm tree set All right. Okay, so here's all of our palm tree cards. We've got Butterfree, and in Butterfree I can see Venomoth. And something here and something here that uh, I'm not going to speculate. We got Vile Plume. I don't see anything else in the Vile Plume card. We've got Executor. I'm going to put the other Executor just off to the side. We've got Ladyba, which has Executor hair in it. So let's just uh, put it there, right behind our Executor. And there's also something down at the bottom. Hard to say. We've got War Turtle, who is uh, hanging out with a horsey. We're gonna put the Japanese one over here. Over here, we've got Tentacruel and Dragonite in the background. We've got a Lapras with Dratini in the background. Here's Meryl, 
that's hanging out with a Goldeen. Um, gosh, this is getting cluttered already. Let's see, move them up there. I'm not sure. I know that this uh, Pidgeot goes next to Mew. As you can see Mew's little butt. And there's a Charizard, but I know I don't have that Charizard. Let's see. Sorry, Gengar, you're gonna go over here. Okay. Honestly, I'm not seeing a lot of connections here. We've got Eradicate. We've got a Jigglypuff. We've got a Lickitung. I really like how Togepi has... That's a Wartortle in the background, but it's not the same... Or is it a Squirtle? I think it's a Wartortle. But it's not the same one. Here's Slowking. Honestly, there's not a lot of connections here. Venomoth. Where did I see the... I saw another Venomoth right there. Okay. I don't know that... I don't know that this primate, the, the Venomoth in, in both of these is the same. They look different. They look like they're in different locations, so I don't think they're connected. Okay, and there is our Pidgeot and Venomnat. There's a Golem in the background here. And oh, there is this guy. That doesn't look like the same one. So yeah, <laughs> the only the only true connections that I was able to find among all of these are these three and these two. And the rest of them are kind of not not truly visibly connected. Oh, <gasps> oh I lied. Oh, I lied and it was so I'm so pleased that I found this. Two little jets of water, and Slowking is is doing a little dance. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's great. So we found some really solid connections here. We found that connection, that connection, these connections. I, I'm pleased with that. I'm satisfied. And that's my cards. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna send this and see if uh, there's any possibility of people being interested in uh, any of my cards. But, you know, every time I look at my cards, I, you know, I, I feel, I have that feeling of nostalgia. I like them. I really enjoyed collecting Pokemon cards over the past forever, <laughs> decades. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's what I got for you today. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and thanks to anybody else who uh, came and stopped by through the stream. And um, thanks to Harris Heller for being chill and let me uh, play his music. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm still kind of sleepy. Ooh. Before I go, I'll show you my, my new shoes. So, these are Spider Gwen shoes. They are so cool. And they're very comfortable. And uh, I was balling today, so I'm looking forward to uh, playing a lot more basketball and tennis in them. All right. <laughs> All right. Have a lovely evening. Bye.